Hi guys, uh, Sveden here from uh, TinyKeep. Uh, if you've been watching our previous uh, YouTube video, you know that I've been talking quite a lot about the uh, game AI that we have planned uh, for the game. Um, so today I just want to update you guys, just a really quick update on the slight improvements that we've made to the original system. Um, so part two of the videos uh, is coming very soon. Um, currently in the final stages of uh, preparing the interactive demo uh, and video for that, so uh, watch this space. Um, but for now, I'm going to talk to you about uh, some of the feedback that we've got from uh, part one. So, in the original system, uh, if the skeleton loses its target, so it doesn't have you in its line of sight and, and can't smell you anymore, he will go back to roaming randomly, uh, so by picking a waypoint in the Pathfinder graph uh, and, and randomly uh, patrolling that area. Uh, a number of people have said that this was felt a little bit unrealistic. Um, what the skeleton should do is remember where he had last detected you, so last seen you or last smelt you, and um, if you can't do any of these things anymore, then try and uh, go to that last seen area and investigate further. Uh, so this is what I've done. So if I just uh, get his attention, the red line again represents uh, his line of sight. If I break the line of sight, the green line represents smell. Now if um, he loses both sight and smell, the orange line represents the last known location uh, that he had detected you, either sight or smell. And uh, he will try and go and investigate to the area. So he won't lose you completely. He will still try and investigate the, the, the last location that he's seen you. There you go. Now, in order to balance out this uh, new behavior, I've had to reduce the um, number of smell trails that he's leaving behind. So you can see uh, his trail is a lot shorter now, those uh, circles he's leaving behind. Uh, and that's because it would be additional um, orange line behavior. Um, having a smell trail that's way too long kind of gives off the impression that the AI is cheating. He's, he's way too intelligent, so you know it kind of makes no sense that if he can't smell or see you, um, he shouldn't be able to follow you all around the dungeon. Uh, I think that would make the skeleton too intelligent. So we've had to bring that down a little bit. Uh, we've also removed the need for alert levels. So you can see there's no um, counters next to the skeletons anymore. Um, we found that the alert level is kind of redundant now that we've added these extra behaviors. Uh, which is really good because if you can reduce the amount of stuff you have to do, um, create more elegant rules uh, for the AI to follow and uh, remove any of the complicated stuff then that will help for emergent behavior in the future as well. Uh, another thing we've updated is uh, what happens if the hero, uh, sorry, the skeleton loses you completely so can't see you or smell you, He has already investigated the area where he's last detected you and, and found nothing. What does he go on to do then? Uh, so I'll show you. So if I hide behind here and he'll investigate that area. Can't find you, now in confused mode. Uh, what we do is make a best guess of where he thinks you are uh, based on um, how you were moving previously. So at the minute he thinks I'm in waypoint C and he'll go there and investigate. And then he's found me. So he does this on non alert mode, so he's not exactly chasing you um, to this new waypoint, but he'll, he'll make a best guess and uh, if he thinks you're nearby, he'll uh, set his patrol to, to go to that waypoint. I think this is uh, again giving a, a little bit more realism, you know, what would the skeleton do uh, if he was chasing someone and then lost them. Um, he would probably patrol an area where he thought you were. Uh, and so that's it. So if I just lose the character again, maybe go around this corner. Um, there we go. He's now confused. Can't see you. Make a best guess. Fix you at waypoint B and uh, goes to investigate. And uh, that's it for today's update. Uh, so if you like what you see, um, please have a try on our interactive demo on our website. It's uh, tinykeep.com forward slash AI. And uh, please look at our Kickstarter page as well. We've got on about 12 days left now until uh, funding ends. So uh, if you want to see this game become a reality, then um, please make some pledges. Um, part 2 of the AI is uh, coming very soon, so we're at the final stages of um, polishing that up for you guys. Uh, that would be a pretty big update about retreating and defensive behaviours, and uh, that's going to be very, very exciting. So until then, I'll speak to you soon. All right.